A delicious twist on the classic mashed potatoes. Let's do this. So what you'll need for this recipe is about five medium-sized potatoes, one carrot, some almond milk. I don't have a specific amount that I always add. I just see at the moment how much milk is needed. A small chunk of butter, some pepper, salt, and no muscatus or nutmeg. Let's start off with the potatoes. Peel them. Peel the carrot as well. Take a knife. Cut everything up. Just like that. You can also leave everything as it is. I just like to cut it up because it makes uh, cooking of everything a bit faster. Put everything in a pot. Add enough water until your potatoes are covered. And finally, I also like to add some sea salt. Now let them boil until they're done. 20 minutes later, I'm going to check if they're done by poking them with a knife. And there you go, you can cut through the potatoes really easily. And the same for the carrots, they're done. Of course, drain the water. Now then, let's add a small portion of butter, a good portion of milk, and just mash everything up. Season it with some nutmeg. It can be a quite generous amount, because I love nutmeg. Some salt, some pepper. Give it a good mash, that everything is mixed up. As you can see, these mashed potatoes have this nice creamy texture, and that's what I really like. And there you go. Just garnish it with whatever you like. I'm just going to garnish it with some dill, just to make it a bit prettier. <laughs> I actually kind of made it worse, I think, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you get the point. This recipe will serve about two people. When Tess and I make dinner, we make this amount and it usually is just enough for both of us. Taste this time! <laughs> mm. Oh, I love it, it's so sweet! The potatoes are so creamy and then that lovely carrot just comes through and makes it all nice and sweet. It's just perfect. More. And of course, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful. Uh, and if you did, you can always tell a friend or just leave a like. It really helps us out. And as always, see you in the next one. Goodbye.